Hi everyone and welcome to Rebellion. My name's Robbie and I'm here with Steve, hashtag blame Tim, and for his very first stream, uh, Christian. How are we doing everyone? Very good. We're good. Yeah, oh, excellent. Yeah, very well. Yeah. So uh, we're very excited because we've got uh, our very first uh, Twitch stream of Strange Brigade, one of the first in the world. In fact, not quite the first. We had a couple at E3. We're going to be showing uh, alpha footage uh, from the game, the demo that was shown at E3. But we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to play through with the different characters, show you their different powers, and show you some of the exploratory elements and hidden things that quite a few people at E3 missed. Um, the other cool thing is we are going to be giving away prizes as usual. We shall be giving away uh, this Strange Brigade bag, which we only gave away at E3, so there won't be many of those in the world. If I turn it around, it's got a cheeky little Road Trooper mention as well. There was someone on the other yeah, side. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. And also uh, these lanyards, which we'll be giving away at events. We're giving away two of these each. And then uh, at the end of the stream, so don't miss out, we will be giving away a copy of the game. Obviously, it isn't out yet. It's going to be a while. Uh, but you'll be getting a copy of the game on launch day in whatever platform you prefer. Um, feel free to fire off questions in the chat. And make sure you're following uh, Rebellion Official um, on Twitch. And also make sure you're on Twitter and that kind of thing. Uh, I think... I think that's enough of a of a panicked intro for myself. It's been a while, I'm feeling Calm a bit down, rusty. <laughs> it's, uh, those Twitch streams went really badly at E3 for me again. So uh, <laughs> no embarrassing you know. handshakes this time. <laughs> no, no, good. no. I did manage to hand, uh, shake his hand before this time, so that was good. Yeah. Um, right. Anyway, chaps, let's uh, let's jump straight in, and uh, we'll do our first playthrough, um, and uh, we'll chat about some things that maybe people haven't seen. Yeah. So we're going to focus on uh, showing everybody the four main characters first, yep. right? Yeah. So we'll go through them in order, might as well. Yeah, yeah. why not? Start with the hunter. So Start with Nalango Rashida. Such fierce spirit. What terrors await our intrepid defiers of the devilish and devious? Join these strangest of heroes on a pulse-pounding journey of discovery and danger. Look lively, Strange Brigade. Time for action. Yes, you'll be getting. Uh, you should be getting some nice VO in the game as well from the commentator. Um. Stop making up, Tim, please. What does that mean? I think people think you're wearing makeup. Oh, is that because well, I just look so beautiful? Well, you, <laughs> you have been filmed. Less shine. Makeup, uh, yeah. Less shine this time. Before, <laughs> Continent of wonder. Yes. All right, here we go. Our intrepid heroes <laughs> must seek out the <laughs> vessel of So here it is, Christian playing the game in public for the first yeah. time. Scary. No pressure. Yeah. This distant and dusty corner of the so what's going on here, Christian? So, first of course, we will be looking around this environment to see if there's anything interesting. There's a subtle hint there. Yeah, was that, was that your... Uh, well, for everyone who hasn't seen Christian before, he's a gameplay designer. Uh, was that your decision, the big arrow that says, shoot me? Um, it's it's one of the decisions we make for at least the A3 demo, just to highlight all these interesting traps, uh, so we don't want to miss people, like, uh, have, have people miss out on all the interesting traps in the environments. So, makes sense to me. You can try and lure these mummies. Hitting the traps is another is another problem, though, that I have, so uh, seeing them is one thing. Actually, there you go, nice one. Yeah, really shoot them, yeah. <laughs> I, think the, uh, I think the shoot me label is one of those things where we were trying to work out how to draw people's attention to the shooting we did. And somebody said, why don't we just put a big arrow with shoot me on it? And everyone laughed, and then yeah. we all went. Nice. Ah, that's yeah. That's yeah. really <laughs> that, 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 that yeah. kind of works. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Hello, champion of Apis. It looks like, like a minotaur, but isn't it just kind of Yes, because of course, as everybody knows, minotaur is a Greek. From, uh, ah, right, that's good. As opposed to, uh, Definitely didn't call me my minotaur in the, uh, in the show. <laughs> no, good. Good, <laughs> goodness, no, no. It's the wrong concept. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's coming he's for me. Good dodge. Good dodge. So what Christian did there was uh, a nice little dodge move. Where uh, if you hit the R, uh, the right bumper or R1, if you're on a PlayStation controller, you'll do a roll. But if you're zoomed in, you'll do a little skid to the side, which is very handy. Ooh. What Christian did there was he died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also trying to unleash a special power, which you, but you're time, you're yeah. still vulnerable though, aren't you, in the uh, in the animation for that? Yeah, Hello to everyone in the chat. Dan Zig, Stipper Rex, Ogre from Hell, Bam Fox. 
What's the size of our development team? Well, we're all absolutely massive. Yes. <laughs> That's, uh, well, Got a good so, so well mix. above average. Uh, <laughs> mix of sizes. Um, it, will, it will vary. I mean, it will get yeah. bigger as the game gets uh, closer to, yeah. to completion. But We've got about 200 people in total at Rebellion, uh, and we've got several projects running at one time or another. So with deft management, we sort of shift people around quite often on projects as and when focus is required. Yeah, the embryonic form of uh, Strange Brigade for quite a while had uh, really just a very small team on it. Yeah. Uh, over the last few months has been ramping up the size of the team. And then uh, there'll also be size. people like Tim and I who work on multiple games as well. So it, it kind of varies really. We're putting together t-shirt sizes for everyone. Mm. And we realise there's a hell of a lot of people who've actually at some stage done something towards the game, whether it's art or the website yeah, or yeah. whatever. So uh, yeah, that's the way it is at Rebellion, which is nice. Yeah. Right, so the amulet is charged, so you can do your special yeah. now. Good time. Yeah, so just in case you missed that earlier, as you do damage to enemies, you will charge up the four segments of the ring around the amulet. And each segment of those increases the rate of fire and damage of your weapon. When it's complete, you start charging up the amulet and then you can use that. So you've got to kind of chain together several hits. It works like a sort of normal combo meter in the sense that if you don't hit anything for a while, it will start to kind of drop back off again. So you need to kind of keep the intensity of the fight going to maximize your power. Yep, we keep chaining them together, which hopefully Blame Tim will uh, manage to pull off later. Yes, there's a <laughs> section of this demo towards the end where you can really go to town with it. And the way ahead is probably, there's quite a few questions about can you change characters mid this and features here and there. Um, we're still very early on in development, so uh, we can't really make many promises, to be honest, other than that it's going to be a four-player cop campaign. You're going to be seeing some of the content here. This is a, a very small slice of just one of the campaign levels, uh, probably worth pointing out, because I think a few people thought this might be a wave-based mode or whatever, that kind of thing. This is very much part of the campaign. Um, and this is an element of the campaign too, which is little secrets Christian's put out there. Don't think anyone found that one at E3, did they? I, I did see someone shoot it, but whether they actually then went and found the uh, item, I don't know. Yeah, environments are full of all sorts of bits and pieces. There's a um, uh, there's a canopic jar around here somewhere, isn't there? Um, yeah, I think it's somewhere it's at the top. One of these platforms to the left. Is that it? Just up there? Yeah, there we go. And is, is that similar to Sniper Elite 4's kind of... Hidden yeah. eagles and things? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Smashier and, yeah. uh, and sort of prettier, yes. <laughs> but, but, but functionally quite similar, yeah. Mm. But when you get them all, you'll get rewarded with cool stuff. Yeah. There are lots of, there are lots of hidden secrets around all of the levels. Canopic jars are one of them. There is a mysterious cat that I won't say too much about because it'll be a bit of a spoiler. Cat. Interesting. A cat, yeah. The Egyptians love their cats. Yeah, indeed. As uh, do I. Plus, lots of puzzles like hidden rooms and hidden doors and stuff. Um, in particular, lots of hidden rooms which are specific to a certain character uh, class, really. Um, so they we'll can. Have here. So here's an example of one. Yeah. So you'll only be able to open some areas of the levels uh, if you're a particular character type. So that one isn't uh, the language one. Neither is that. One. Uh, hers uh, is later on in the level, yeah. actually, isn't it? So when we when we come through this area again with a different character, we'll show you those and the way they work. It, the, the finished game is going to have a sort of a deeper interpretation of that concept. This was something that we did for the E3 demo, um, where you'll be able to open up larger areas of the levels. Probably worth chatting as well because we, you see we've seen Langu's um, special power. Mm. What what other things are uh, you know? She's got a different throwing weapon, for example, to the other characters. So what, what's different about her in that in that respect? Mm. Well, they all come they all come equipped with a different loadout by default. You can change the weapons as you go through as things currently stand. Um, so she's rapid fire, sort of largely fire orientated. So her default special attack, her amulet, and all the rest of it, all based around this idea of fire uh, and uh, yeah, machine gunning. Um, should we? Do you want to try one of the other characters? Oh, here we yes. go. Here's, here's her. Here's her area. Yeah. So the structure um, that we're going to do today, it won't be one of our longest streams. What we're going to do is 
We're going to show um, each of the four characters in the sort of opening area, but then with the last playthrough, the fourth character, Tim's going to take the reins and hopefully get us all the way to the end of the demo. Really nice little battle at the end with a lot of traps and a lot of cool new enemies. So we're going to re be repeating the beginning just for the sort of first part of the stream, and then we'll do one playthrough at the end. Okay. Shall, shall we? So, yeah, let's leave, move on to who's next in the roster. Is it Archimedes or is it Gracie? Um, it's Gracie. Gracie. Our northern lights. Oak from Hell, we'll talk about the maps. Um, it's not really the same structure as Sniper Elite 4, which is a kind of open sandbox style for each level. This is very much a linear campaign that will be taking you through um, A to B, some very cool environments, but there will be, as Steve was talking about, different branching pathways potentially and new ways to open up. But it's, it's not a sandbox style gameplay in the same way. There's much more an um, action-focused adventure game, really. The demos fairly focused on the kind of action side mm -hmm. of things, but the actual the actual campaign levels, which are obviously much larger, contain a lot more in the way of exploration and rewards for exploration and puzzle solving. Um, so they are, yeah, they we're, we're trying to capture a kind of a, a, an era from which, you know, Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark and films like that get their inspiration, um, where... Uh, you know, sort of rummaging around in these ancient sites was was a, a thing to do back then. You know, so. Yeah, which is yeah. what Gracie's doing right now. Yes, and also to create wanton destruction in these uh, <laughs> yeah. valuable ancient places. Yeah, yeah. L locate uh, uh, native relics and then either destroy them or sell them to the museum. So, yeah. Right. So, w what does Gracie bring into the table then? A massive shotgun. shotgun. shotgun yeah. <laughs> Good old I love shotgun. That shotgun. Yeah, got to reload quite frequently though. Yeah. Um, for those asking, uh, the game is online cop. Uh, you can play solo, or you can be two to four players. Uh, we can't confirm stuff like drop in, drop out, and things like that yet. I don't think. Um, I we could. Oh well, okay. Drop if, in, if drop that's out. I think we just did. Yeah, well. Fair enough. That's that's more course. my lack of knowledge than uh, well, does, than the it, game. It works now. I suppose it's possible we would take it out, but it's not. But it's not, <laughs> not like. I don't think that'll be very popular. It'll, it'll scale um, the difficulty automatically depending on how many players drop in. Yeah, well. it, it is unlikely we'll be having split screen. Split screen is not something we've done in our co-op games for a while. Um, so I would say not to expect it at the moment. Oh, that's quite clever, that combining Grace's special attack there with uh, activating the trap. Yeah, so yeah, her special is um, when it's charged you can uh, target an enemy, pull them towards you, scorpion out of Mortal Kombat style, and then yeah. fling them away in a direction you choose if you're quick enough to explode amongst... Uh, I think, well, I think they're needing some grenades there, yeah, that's yeah. just what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, and your ambulance charged, perfect. There is quite a lot of exploding going on. Uh, <laughs> I like exploding. That's good. Yeah. 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 Hustle Gaming, uh, too early to say really how long the campaign's going to be. It's going to be meaty, you know, yeah. our, ca our, our games are known for having a campaign uh, as their main thing. Um, it's going to depend, obviously we're going to want to uh, add some replayability, make sure people want to come back and enjoy the game over and over, but yeah, we're still fairly early in development and uh, how big that campaign's going to be we'll, uh, we'll show you later on I suppose. Mm. I don't know if you noticed there, but when um, the champion of Apis just blundered into the trap, all the blades broke off. Yeah. It was a bit too tough for it. Yeah, it's always a mistake that I made on a couple of the uh, playthroughs at E3 where I, I set it when he was there, and then I didn't have the blades for use for the enemies <laughs> later on, yeah. so I really regretted it. Will there be any Brendan Fraser DLC? <laughs> uh, if anyone's got Brendan Fraser's email address, yep, that would be uh, fantastic. We can certainly take the first step on the way to making that happen. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Let's Twitter him. Yeah. How is it different from Zombie, the Zombie trilogy gameplay-wise? Mm. A good question. Yeah. It is a good question. question. Uh, in in lots of really quite fundamental ways, actually. Although it although it shares the core four-player co-op structure um, it's much less focused on sniping although those weapons probably will appear uh, I can't be too definite about that at the moment um, it, it's much it, it's much more you're, you're a much more agile character it's a, it's about maneuvering around an arena uh, managing crowds uh, of people there's a lot more in the way of uh, puzzle solving and exploration as a there's a sort of a thematic structure of all the levels. So it doesn't, 
it doesn't necessarily have the same uh, relentless siege-like structure of some of the zombie levels. Uh, you have these kind of moments of discovery and revealing new arena like areas and um, uh, it has a more sort of adventurous feel, much less of that kind of horror movie vibe that we captured with uh, yeah. the zombie, zombie games. Zombie Army was very deliberately oppressive in tone, um, capturing a very particular style of uh, horror movie nice. from uh, the sort of 70s and 80s. Um, and yeah, this is much, much lighter in tone. Uh, it's all about daring do and um, adventure, as Steve says. It's very much tongue-in-cheek as well. Yeah. Taking, the, taking the mick out of us British as well, how silly mm. we were in the 1930s, mm. some of our attitudes. So with, sh- with our overall should be fun. empire, which is now defunct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A mix uh, of SE4, Tomb Raider and uh, Gears. That's, mm. well, that, yeah. that's yeah. not bad. I that's, suppose. That's, that's yeah. pretty good, I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, of course, Zombie Army didn't have all the treasure hunting that this uh, contains as well. No, I mean, as someone who's obviously not a designer, just the feel is just so different. Uh, it's quicker. Um, the idea that you're trying to chain together these powers, um, and especially in co-op where you might combine your powers a little bit, that, that just feels completely different, even though obviously four-player cop shooting is, is not something that's new to us only. But, um, yeah, it feels very different for those who, who are ZAT fans. I think this is a different avenue you might enjoy. Mm. And I certainly wouldn't assume that you wouldn't enjoy it if you didn't like ZAT. I would say also the the combat is a bit closer to the player. Yeah, mm. a lot closer uh, compared actually. to uh, Zombie Arbor Trilogy, where it was more sniping based and uh, mm. long range combat. Mudzi, it's uh, too early to say details about what we're going to be doing with the HUD and that kind of thing. This thing's for definitely early. Certainly on PC, we tend to offer a, a, as many options as we can. We have done on Sniper Elite 4. Yeah. So we've encountered a puzzle here. You may mm. have noticed those symbols in the background that we were just looking at uh, just through the window there. Uh, and they correspond to a code which tells you the sequence in order to open this door here. If you get the sequence wrong, then well, the door won't open. It may also spring some booby traps. But if we get it right... Do you have names for those tablets? Yeah. like? I, when I play, I'm like bird, bird, yeah, turkey yeah, thing. Like simple. <laughs> yeah, bird, I am pump. I don't know why I think pump. It just I looks think like a, a jug. It's a woman. Like I, mean, I can't. A jug I can't sit there saying jugs all day. <laughs> Oak from hell. We played the game on PC using Xbox controllers at E3. So yes, obviously it will be supporting. Um, controller support mm. uh, but our uh, bosses are big on their PC controllers and their mi- mice and keyboards so it's going to gonna be happy for everyone I think yeah. um, Right. So can you I, change your weapon loadouts? So this is oh, pertinent because right. yes. we're just yep. about to show you exactly how it's you can do that it's almost the question <laughs> so here's the weapons bench and uh, there are all sorts of weapons here most of which are locked in the demo um, but you've got Shotguns, rifles, I think there's flamethrowers and grenade launchers and all sorts of things in there. Yeah, so a primary, a secondary and a special as well. Yes. yes. Special. Which Tim will get to show off in a bit. Yeah. Um, it's worth pointing out as well, I'll do my first giveaway in a second. Once we load up the uh, third character, I'll uh, do our first giveaway. Okay. Are we, are we time for the third character now? Or? or Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, do you want me to take over? Yeah. And show you how it's, uh, how it's done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, okay, so um, to be uh, entered to win this lovely uh, Strange Brigade bag and a lanyard, which are very rare indeed currently, um, what you'll need to do is make sure you're following the channel and then in a second put in the hashtag, it's very traditional, blame Tim into the chat um, and, uh, and you'll all be entered automatically. Uh, it's just a raffle that's, uh, that's done by a little cover piece of software that will tell us who the winner is and then we'll get in touch. Um, so in a second, if you want to put in the hashtag, blame Tim, and we will pick a winner in uh, a few. Right. Okay, Who's so this then? This is uh, Professor Archimedes de Quinte. Bit Who's... of a mouthful, but he <laughs> has, uh, has many attributes that are pretty cool. You may have noticed on his loadout there, he's got sticky grenades by default, which is cool because you can stick them to enemies. Not so cool if the enemies are running towards you. Mm-hmm. Or, um, or you stick them to your teammates. That's yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's also got the Beetle Blitz special power, which no doubt Steve will demonstrate in due course. There is some doubt. Uh, it does require a certain degree oh, of... Uh, Beetle Blitz, is that official? Is that the official name? Um, well, it's the it's official name that we came up with just before E3, so... <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. 
yeah, it's uh, it's always tricky coming up with names for these things. Africa, right, Archimedes. Let's see what you're up. Okay, he also made has on. a very shiny waistcoat. It does, isn't it? Yeah. Beetle-like. Mm, iridescent. Yeah. He would look good at the Rebellion Christmas party in the Oxford Colleges. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he'd fit in well there. He would fit right in, wouldn't he? He's laden with all sorts of artefacts and jewels from his uh, archaeological days. Mm. Someone's asking, why are we blaming Tim? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a good question. That's lost in the mist of time. I don't it know is. what the original bl blame Tim It's was. one of the biggest memes on the internet I've heard. <laughs> yeah, certainly amongst the rebellion. <laughs> certainly amongst regular uh, Twitch viewers. Generally, if you come to our streams and you type in hashtag blame Tim, you've got a chance to win something at some stage. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's get chaining those kills together. He's yeah. nearly there already. Stomp him, stomp him. Oh, yeah. I'll put a punch instead. I'm <laughs> failing to do that. There we go. Right. Nice. So that homes in on multiple enemies then? Yeah. I'm assuming it knocks off damage rather than necessarily killing them all? You can do, depends how tough the enemies are, it won't, it won't kill that fellow, for instance. Uh, but these guys might, might get taken out. I'll try and shoot that in spot while he's displaying it. Yeah, I really struggled with that a couple of the demos, especially yeah, if I was a soldier good. where I was like, ah, precision is required. Yeah, yeah it's a bit of someone good at video games. Control the tuning required at our end as well. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. true. Aimable. I think this man's played this game before. Oh. Well, <laughs> the, spoke the, too the soon. Robbie, the Robbie curse, right? Blame, <laughs> hashtag blame Robbie. Yeah. It is but a scratch. One of the things I'm really pleased about with this project is we've got uh, Gordon Rennie uh, writing for us, who's some people may know from the uh, work. He's done on 2000 AD and well, lots of other stuff. Some games, I think he worked on Crackdown, is it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. worked on Road Trooper. He worked on the BAFTA nominated uh, Indeed. story mm -hmm. of Road Trooper, and um, yeah, he's done some stuff with the Hamlet as well. Yeah. But, uh, he's a great guy, and he's really got the he's really got the, the vibe that we're after, the sort of slightly tongue in cheek kind of um, trying to be funny exactly, but yeah, it's, it's wry and. Uh, do we have a winner? It's not in a particular period. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. good. We haven't picked one yet, have we? Early 20th century. Right, we're going to roll for the winner. Ooh. First winner. Remember, we're going to give one more set of bag and lanyard away, and then we'll give away a copy of the game. Well, not give away straight away, but we'll put your name down, uh, and we'll give you a copy of the game on launch day. Don't worry, it worked. It worked on Sniper. We remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Now, the winner is... Craid da 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 Craid da Craid da da Congratulations <laughs> You are the winner It's good timing as well Nice Bovine's been bold for six Can't wait for Rogue Trooper Yes mm. Yes indeed I'm sure we'll be doing more Twitch streams Yes, we'll, uh, we'll, similar to this, we'll be doing an, e, uh, an E3 uh, build uh, demo on our Twitch stream of Road Trip Redux, which would be really cool as well. Um, just got to plan when we're going to do that, actually. It's always good to plan things. Just prior to this meeting, I was mopping up some bugs on Road Trooper. Bugs, never. We had no bugs back in the day, Tim. Uh -huh. No bugs ever. Yeah, well, we've been putting some in in order to <laughs> remove them again because what is game development without a bug fix? Indeed. Period? Indeed. So, Tim, do you want to switch seats and then go yeah, through the entire on. thing? Let me get my hands on this. Okay. Right, so what we'll do is Tim will jump back in, restart the demo with our final character. That was very slick with our slightly <laughs> creep, creepy seat behind us. <laughs> Steve looming oh, in the background. You didn't tell me it was a oh, creepy Steve's seat. headless there, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Just our green screen. Um, I think the green screen's struggling with your shirt maybe a little bit. Oh, is it? I can't see it from here. It looks pretty oh, cool. It's kind of shimmery. Sit down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're disturbing me. 
Right, fourth character, Frank Fairburn. You may recognise that surname. Is he a relation? Ooh. Is he not? Is it a coincidence? Uh, it could be a coincidence. Mm. Mm. He's also quite good with a rifle. Yeah. Mm. We did use an internet random generator for the names, obviously. To make oh, it completely yeah. fair. But, uh, First hit. I'm looking forward to using his dynamite dash. Which is a really nice punchy. Shall I skip this? Yeah, I'll skip this. Yeah. We'll uh, Crater D, we, when are we going to release Death Storm 3? Expect soon. news very soon. 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 Possibly in a Twitch stream very soon. Mm. More. You won't have to wait long. Mystery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the balance of the two games is very different. Obviously, ZAT was set up very much around sniping. And so the secondary weapons were um, kind of deliberately less precise and uh, better for a particular type of situation. You didn't panic. really want to be... Yeah, exactly. They were sort of panic, <laughs> last-ditch panic like weapons. Last resort, yeah. this, is, this is set up much more around uh, sort of medium medium range precision, long range in the case of some weapons, but much more about sort of managing crowds of the machine guns. So the, so the machine guns are... I think, you know, feel punchier and more accurate. And, you know, they're, they're a much more central part of the gameplay than they were in ZAT, so hence they've had much more focus from us on that. It'll take more than that to scare off the string. Our pl uh, power's going to be interchangeable, Steve. That's the plan, as things currently stand. Uh, look, but everyone will have to just sort of insert their own parentheses here. Because <laughs> this game's still in sort of uh, an alpha state, so there are still aspects of the gameplay which we're experimenting with and seeing whether or not they work and whether or not they're fun. As things currently stand, you'll be able to uh, swap out amulets. You'll collect more amulets as you play through the game and you'll be able to swap your amulet out with a different one. So yes, they currently are. Nice. So that's the dynamite going out there. Yeah. Differs Barrels, a bit, doesn't please. it? That's what they're requesting. So. Barrels, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ah, early. And amulet charge. Here we go. Bosh. Nice. But there was nothing for him to explode into. So, so the enemy, when it lands, it explodes. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that right? Yeah. Why this time period? That's a, that's a good question. Yeah. I like that. So, main, mainly because it's an, it's, a, it's an area where a lot of the things that we enjoy, a lot of the uh, books, TV Oops. shows, um, c comics and stories... A lot, it's where the, a lot of them get their inspiration from. You know, our kind of original action heroes came from this kind of late Victorian sort of interwar period. Um, of the, you know, the the super scientist explorer, and it was it, or these you know, Livingstone like characters who would sort of go to other countries and and um, uh, cause havoc. And the, the writings from people like H. Ryder Haggard and so on. Sort of created the very beginnings of this action genre, and it's something that we've always been uh, you know, entertained by. It's often kind of daft now and sort of silly and a bit camp, I suppose, but there's a great deal of sort of fun uh, and ingenuity in it as well. It's kind of the roots of where the modern blockbuster entertainment came from with Indiana Jones, Flash Gordon, right. Star Wars obviously was influenced mm. by uh, the... Uh, and now stuff Saturday like Uncharted, you know, as well, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we're kind of going back to uh, back to the roots of the kind of entertainment we all enjoy, really. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the world was more mysterious at the time, yeah, too. Yeah, so. there were yes, there places on maps that hadn't world, been yeah. filled in. Probably. And it's less cynical, time, you know, yeah. I, think that, I think that's the thing I enjoy about it, is it's much, it's much less cynical sort of... Uh, time, um, or at least as expressed through its art, uh, and that's actually quite refreshing. You know, it's not it's not dark and gritty and grim. It's kind of un unashamedly uh, exciting and adventurous and fun, um, and that's that's made it a really fun thing for us to engage with creatively. Right, soon we'll be showing some people some new stuff. Mm. So, uh, like, before I do, it might be worth giving you a glimpse of, like, all this background stuff here mm. is actually, um, let's see if I can get a decent view of some of it, 
Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think but it's, it's, auto -sight, it's yeah. all like uh, playable parts of the level which have been locked off for the demo, but in the full game, I'll give you a glimpse down here. There's, uh, there's a nice view from the bridge later too. Yeah, there is. Uh, so there's whole areas down here and up there, and it comes through from up there and around there and off into the distance. Do, 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 do. It's funny playing without the audio. It's, we're kind of lacking the uh, all the extra VO and stuff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Drowned. Yeah. So there's more down there. Oh yeah. Up into the distance, going up through there, waterfalls and the like. Let's just get myself some ammo. Oh, it's full. Yeah. Fine. Super Mike, we can't confirm the number of levels at the moment. Um, it's not really about the number of levels necessarily, but kind of the design that's in them and how much gameplay you get out of them. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to confirm that nearer to launch. Um, and by the way, we, aren't, we can't even give you a year currently for the launch um, at the moment. So it's, we've it's probably before 2030. Mm. Have I gone too far? <sighs> Sorry, PRs really. don't like it when uh, people get exclusives. You've now got an exclusive there. It's coming out before 2030. Probably, I said. <laughs> there was a disclaimer. Yeah, we don't tend to show stuff off too early, though. You know, we don't we don't tend to show things two, three years out. So, you know, hopefully, I'll give you an indication this is going to be sooner rather than uh, later. Yeah. Uh, there's even some bad guys lurking down there. I didn't spot that before. That's nice. Good shot. He was completely minding his own business. <laughs> Less of a good shot. You must have a scope on this thing. Right. Well, uh, Timmy's taking some pot shots. Mm. We're going to give away uh, another bag and another lanyard for Strange Brigade. Very rare. Only had them at E3 so far. May get them at other events if we go. Um, but, yeah, there will not be many of them around. So uh, keep hold of them. Good price, price to win. So all you need to do is make sure you're following the channel. And uh, in this case, we need to have... Please put into the chat. Hashtag sit down Steve. Hashtag sit down Steve. All one word, is it? All one word, yeah. all lowercase. Can I have one of those lanyards? Have I got to enter the competition? Stand? You can have a lanyard, Steve. Yeah. But the bags are quite rare, so yeah. we're going to have to ha hang on to those. Let's go to eBay. <laughs> go to eBay. Uh, I'll be really annoyed if we got all those ooh. bags and someone put them straight on eBay. <laughs> yeah. We also, someone came to the stand at E3, uh, the press room, and told me the bags were really bad and then tried to sell me his company's bags which were much better <laughs> and i was like that's fine oh, to go, that's fine I, I appreciate the suggestion but maybe don't slag off the things that we put out at e3 first that would have been, that would have been good <laughs> i'm uh, just about to spend some of my collected gold on the remarkably cheap special weapon here <laughs> the uh the special 12 gauge cracker tower great name for a shotgun um actually uh shall i I'm going to go for the rifle shotgun combo. And uh, here we go. For those who are just joining in now, put in the hashtag sit down Steve and you'll be uh, entered for a chance to win a Stranger Gate bag and lanyard. And then we'll be giving away a copy of the game at the end of the stream once Tim has completed the level, if he completes mm. the level. So, once Steve and Christine have completed the game. Yes. <laughs> Here's a little puzzle here. How do I get through the door? Well, stand on the pad, shoot the thing. <laughs> the thing, official. Yep. Open the thing, walk through the thing. thing. Right, time for some... Look at the thing. Nice little landscaping. Yeah. There's my dirigible. There's all sorts of cool stuff. And that's how you're deployed into each, yeah, each campaign mission. that's how we get around the world is the Strange Brigade. It's our... Uh, I guess the helicopter is day, but yeah, this is all part of the uh, the level here. But we're going to go somewhere else right now. I've got a feeling one of you going to know what the difference is between a dirigible and a zeppelin. A uh, zeppelin is a German dirigible. Ah. Oh right, so we there we go. Zeppelin is a uh, brand name, like uh, you know, ah. Hoover. Hoover. Oh, that's cool. So we have here our high priest chap. He is um, he's a mummy that raises other mummies from the ground. So he's tougher than the others. He's also got some pretty mean, like, uh, special attacks. So I'm going to swap to... We're going to get oh. Leo as well. I was looking at some animations for this guy today. And, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, they're very cool. Very cool. 
What's he going to do? Give us a little bit of a. Well, I might be, I might be revealing a, a feature that I might end up having to get rid of. So again, <laughs> again with my uh, with my trademark parentheses around this, he's he's going to actually sort of grab you with the uh, bandage. Nice. Oh, I'm just burning these guys. So this shotgun sets things on fire as well as blowing them away, which is kind of cool. And what's nice about that is that the enemies will be on fire, and then they'll keep adding slightly to your amulet meter because they're they're all taking damage yeah. simultaneously. Fire does play quite a big part in this game. Oh, no. It's because they're all dry. Yeah, and nice dusty. and flammable. Pots. Right, Bobby, let's have a roll, shall we, for uh, yeah. for the winner. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Dave Dad. Congratulations, you're the winner. I believe you've won stuff before, actually. That name's familiar. Regular, regular on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, my dad has no idea what Twitch is. I did try and send them a link once and it didn't go well. <laughs> Let's chuck some dynamite over there, that's going to help, surely. Those so asking about frame rate won't be able to confirm at the moment. Obviously, that will depend on the hardware because we now have different multiple levels of console too not just uh, different uh, varieties of PC hardware. So, um, not something we can confirm right now. So. But should be pretty smooth. Can't get through. I've got two of those lit up. Need the glowy bird. Need the glowy bird. For some reason I really enjoy shooting these lights. Just for the shadows. Oh. oh. That's the last. Grenade in there always helps, I find. I think I've already shot oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't roll don't roll into the dynamite. Okay, well I've got Which the last I've done of those things. And I'll just mop up here. Try to not die. Oh, he just needs to chill out. Probably being woken up, I'd imagine. Hmm. I guess he was having a nice sleep. Get some ammo. Hustle mm. Gaming. Yeah, this this there's deliberately less gore in this, partly because yeah. mummies don't really have any innards, but uh, also because it just fits better with the theme, I mm. think. Um, it's you know Yeah, well it, it comes back to what we were saying before about this this era and the kind of, you know, stories and films and so on that were about at the time that it wasn't really, it wasn't really a feature of that mm. kind of thing. It, it helps to add it, add to the sense of, uh, well, maybe not, maybe innocence is the wrong word, but it's a, but there's a certain sort of like charm about that kind of uh, pure yeah. fun. I think. Tim, do you want to we show don't, we the? We uh, really want to make it. Sorry to interrupt, Steve. Just want to get, before Tim sets all the fun off, maybe showing off a little bit of the uh, giant Anubis up there. Is that what it is? Yeah, that yes. is a giant Anubis statue, looking ominous. Especially if you've seen the uh, reveal trailer. Mm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just over here, there's uh, other parts of the level. Giant sunken church there. Could be important. But you're not going to see it today. What's this glowy thing? No. Could be important. Uh, surely there'll be no trouble ensuing from this. Yeah. Gold trim does go with his, uh, with his suit though, so that's good. Mm. Another new bad guy. These are our rather threateningly assassins. armoured assassins, mm. but I've just right. chewed through a bunch of them in the trap. Amazing. Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, there's one left. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, these guys are fast and, um, and they can dodge just like you can yeah. as well. Yeah. Shoot off their armour. Oh, look at that. Remember, little bugger. <laughs> ah, more. More. More of the blighters. Alternate outfits for the characters, maybe. Something we'd love to do if we have the time yeah. and the resource, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I can officially say maybe to that. Yeah, <laughs> an official maybe. Heard it here first. Okay. Right, it's time for me to get my game on. Let's do this.
So another time we'll be uh, showing this with, we'll probably play this demo, but with the four players as well, or certainly one or um, two or three. That'd be good to show the co-op and show some different tactics and things. That'd be uh, that'd be fun. No, oh, Timmy. Oh, what rotten luck! I really need to uh, sort this out. Right, I'm going to go back to my Krakatoa shop. Yeah, there's people asking for some trappage there. There we go. You promised me some chained kills, too. Yeah, I know. I'm going to try and sort it out. I need to focus. <laughs> Super Mike, uh, there certainly will be a beta, but it's going to be here at Rebellion, I would have thought. We haven't done a public beta in uh, many of our games, but we'll see. We'll investigate. If it's something we think we need to do, then we'll uh, look into it, but nothing to announce at the moment. Here right. we go. Let's do this. Nice. Bosh. Bosh. Love that. <laughs> Bosh. <laughs> this is starting to get a, a rather intense. Bosh. Oh, there's no one on it. <laughs> oh, a few. Oh, yeah. Previously boshed them. He's not had a run like this in a long time. Oh, hello. Mummy's asking for it. Yes. Let's get him. Oh. oh no. More enemies. Yes, these guys are uh, ranged spear throwing chaps. As you can tell, Timmy's coming fairly close to the end of this demo. So get your questions in and we'll answer a couple more before we finish. And we'll also do our final giveaway before we uh, say good evening or good morning, wherever you are. Yeah, and I would say also uh, with these spear throwers, like dodging, uh, really yes. That, that was uh, a, that Which was is also like oh. a big difference with, um, with Zombie Army Trilogy. You're way more agile. I think Christian's telling you to dodge. Stop being. Yes. Uh, I'm doing Stop fine. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually the, the, the more accurate than I want to. Pyro, bro, will the outfits be customizable? Don't know at this stage. That's, a, that's, a, that's another official maybe then. Something that would be cool. For sure. Nice. No enemies to chain into then, unfortunately. No. I had a good, good chaining sequence. Classic skins from some of our other Rebellion games would be a nice idea. Something yeah. I think we've talked about as well. We've but talked about it. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, bosh. Oh, no. Uh, it's all getting a bit hectic. Valerie, uh, the reason we're not doing any co-op is that we we don't have a co-op build on PS4 currently, and that's the that's the uh, platform we're using at the moment. Uh, all platforms will have co-op eventually, but currently we just wanted to show the solo mode because we uh, we knew it ran nice. Yeah, is the technical term. Mm. Awesome, Runs real nice. nice. Tim, you're doing pretty well here. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to set off the trap while you're standing on it, though. That would be a bad idea. I'm reloading. Reload, reload. <laughs> oh, ah, oh. there we go. I'm always like, oh, I just want to continue when the demo ends. And there's our Nubis statue. Which is nice enough to stuff. open the bridge for you. Is this the end? Who knows? Mm. Stay tuned. And there's the big statue making an entrance. Edge of the seat stuff. Right, yeah. well done. Well done, Tim. Thank you. Well done, uh, everyone. That was good. Mm. Right, for our last giveaway, which will be a copy of the game on a platform of your choice, please, uh, by the way, keep firing a few questions. We'll answer for the next two or three minutes before we head out. Um, please put in the hashtag blame Anubis, all lowercase, <laughs> and, uh, and you'll be entered an enterprise. You're going to have to spell it right, I'm afraid. Someone else will have to point it out. So hashtag Anubis for a chance to win a copy of the game. 
on your platform of choice, currently uh, confirmed for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And uh, yeah, keep firing off a couple more questions, we'll answer those, and uh, then we'll uh, announce a winner and we'll head off. So, mm. that was fun. Our first ever Strange Brigade Twitch stream. Yeah. Hopefully one of many in the future. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have lots and lots of cool stuff to yeah. show. Mm. Had a lot of feedback from E3 yeah. as well, which we're going to be sort of using uh, mm. on the development of the game. So we may go quiet for a little bit while we work on that. But you will expect to see us as well at some shows, uh, certainly in Europe because it's close to us. <laughs> but hopefully in America too, that would be nice. Um, so we'll announce that uh, once we're confirmed. Um, but you know, think of the big ones in Europe, and hopefully we'll be there. Right, getting a lot of hashtag blame Anubises. Get get them in for another minute, and then we'll, we'll do a roll. Will you guys move to Gamescom? Well, we've been to Gamescom before. We have been. Is all I can say. Um, we've had space there, and we have friends who give us space uh, at a nice discount. So uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. Hugenrad, Death Storm Part 3 for Sniper Elite 4. Uh, expect news very soon mm -hmm. on that. Guest characters. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Have to work out who we, who would be our guests though. Um, Send any uh, ideas to at Rebellion or at Strange Brigade on Twitter. Mm. We've already had uh, um, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser suggested. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had to speak to his agent yes. about that. Who's the girl, Rachel Vice? Yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah, Rachel Vice has a good shout. Mm. I actually worked. Your mind works, I actually worked on the uh, <laughs> yeah. the PlayStation One game of the Mummy like many many years ago. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Good fun fact. Yeah. Who's, who's the other cool dude in it? The one with the long black hair. Uh, from the first one. It's mm. like a, an ancient. It's the yeah. one with the tattoo on his face. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mean the actual like main Mummy dude himself? No. Oh, uh, oh I know who you mean. Oh yeah. 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 Mm. Yes. Apparently that character, the guy with the falcon, is also a character in the new Assassin's Creed game. Oh really? So it's messing there with the nice. uh, mm. with some of their lore. I am so excited about that new Assassin's Does, Creed. It looked good, and it was next to Strange Brigade, funnily mm. enough, at, on the Xbox show floor at E3. So yeah. Um, right, okay, you got you got ten seconds to get in your hashtag blame Anubis before we do a roll. So exciting! First giveaway of the of the year for Strange, maybe more. Hopefully a lot more, actually. Is that okay. 10 seconds, yeah? I think so. Let's roll. Yeah. Uh, and the winner Bam is... Uh, Jason Kingsley wins it. Bam Red yeah. Fox. Congratulations. Yay, well done, Bam. Yes. Everyone, please be nice and give Bam Red Fox a congratulations. Right. I think uh, that's probably it for the stream. Yeah. Um, if anyone has any questions still about the game, do fire them off uh, to at Rebellion or at Strange Brigade on Twitter. You can find Strange Brigade and Rebellion on Facebook uh, or hit us up uh, in the forums and various websites that Rebellion has. Um, thanks to everyone for tuning in and watching everyone and thanks for you three for taking time out of, of development to come play it. And thanks, thanks to, Robbie for presenting. Thanks me, yeah, thanks thank Bobby you. behind the screen and Rob and everyone else for setting up. Um, it's always good fun and uh, yeah, we'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye.